Hello, everybody. Ew. Alexa Baroda okay. here. My very. Sounds stupid. Ugh! Gosh, this is so hard. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the first video of my channel. <laughs> Yes, I have a channel. I can't believe I'm doing this. It has been a long time coming. If you're a little surprised and speechless, so am I. Just consider this just a welcome video. I cannot even tell you how pumped I am about teaching English. Before I move forward, it might be helpful to share some pieces of my life with you. I absolutely love reading and creative writing. It feels very fulfilling to teach what I love for a living. Since being introduced to a camcorder in the sixth grade, I've been pretty passionate about creating videos. I'd literally write scripts, perform my own bizarre plays, created exercise videos, filmed game shows, documentaries, and whatever else nudged me. I created video projects for high school before it became a thing and continued to create and share some videos in my college years. Someone called me a wannabe Jenna Marbles, so I stopped. Shame on me. Close friends and family can probably recall an elaborate personal funky video I've sent them. Videos aren't new for me. The only thing new here is I figured out a new way to channel all the energy and fun it brings me. I've been an inner city middle school teacher for seven years in Central Jersey, teaching language arts, bilingual language arts, and honors language arts in seventh and eighth grade. I have my ESL certification, I'm in grad school, and I feel my specialty lies with differentiating for English language learners who are just kids learning to speak English, and they contribute to a large portion of American education. That number increases each year. I've also taught in Costa Rica for volunteer work, and I worked a legit teaching job in China for a year. I'm used to being thrown into sink or swim moments. It's helped me greatly with being flexible and calm. Ooh, okay, that's me in a nutshell. This is, this is my jam right here. The three purposes of my channel, mostly to just take you through this journey with me. Middle school teacher going into high school. Purpose number two is to just add, shed some light and some grace on the teaching profession because my God, teaching is hard. And three, I would like to address some of these preconceived notions, some of these stereotypes that, that urban districts automatically get put into because they're urban districts. The stereotypes, like some of you might take my humor, my funny voices, the way that I speak, what I look like, I don't know, put that into a ball and stereotype me as someone who doesn't know what she's talking about. That's okay, but guess what? That is teaching. That's what makes me a good teacher. Cell phones, video games, we've got some competition to the point of annoyance. So half of teaching these days is entertainment, is humor. So what you see, this is just what happens on a daily basis to keep the attention, keep the attention going. Do I have your attention? Picture what I'm walking into. So it's COVID-19, right? In two weeks I start, that is mid-January. I'm not even sure if I'm going to see my eighth graders just yet because there's talk about going back to school remotely for two weeks. And at that point, you know, I would be in the high school. But I'm going during COVID. If you're a teacher, you know that the struggle has been real this year with between attendance and sickness and everything else. So I'm going during this time. I do not know my way around this huge school. There's a chance that I'm just kind of going to be thrown to the wolves, sink or swim, which is how I started when I taught middle school. <laughs> just have one small request from these teenagers though. Just so you know, I plan on ending each video with about two minutes of answering your questions. So life, school, education, if you have any questions, ask away. Typically, after excitedly talking to people about my new position at this inner city high school, these are the questions I've been receiving. Oh, you wanted this, right? You? Was that, um, voluntary? Wow, you sure you're ready for that? Aren't you worried about your safety? You're gonna be like that chick from Freedom Writers. Is this because you didn't have a floor in your old classroom and that? Oh. Silence. Silence. I think that's the worst one. It is not that serious. You guys, please follow my channel so that I can show you. Yes, it is challenging. Yes, in some ways the grass is greener on the other side, but ultimately all teaching is the same. We all deal with the same problems. All right, so let's just be serious for one second, okay? Let me be loud and clear, truth be told, I choose 
inner city. Honestly, I'm not surprised at all by you know these questions, these comments, because it takes me back to my first day of middle school. My first day of middle school, I didn't know what I was walking into. I didn't know anyone who taught in an urban school district. I just didn't know what to expect. A lot of the questions that people ask, I empathize with them. I'm so looking forward to teaching high school. I'm very enthusiastic about this channel. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. What's the worst that could happen?